Axioms are statements we take to be true without proof. This doesn't mean that there aren't good reasons to believe that the statement is true in some sense, but it just means that we aren't going to generate a mathematical proof for it. Axioms form the foundation for all the arithmetic and algebra that you've ever done. In this section, we're going to take a closer look at these axioms. You should be familiar with most of these, though you may not be aware of the role they play in math or how we use them in proofs. A field is a collection of symbols F, such that for A, B, C, and F, the following properties hold. The word field is a special mathematical term that you might have seen in a course like Abstract Algebra. However, for this section, we'll be focusing on the names of the properties, the commutative laws, the associative laws, the identity properties, the inverse properties, and the distributive law. Notice that the first four of these apply to addition and multiplication separately, but the distributive law combines addition and multiplication together into one law. Two common examples of fields are the rational numbers and the real numbers. Other collections of numbers may satisfy only some of these properties. For example, the integers do not have multiplicative inverses, but they meet every other property. It turns out that every other algebraic property of numbers that you've used can be derived from these. For example, you might notice that there's no axiom that states a times 0 equals 0 for all real numbers, or that a negative times a negative is a positive. We will use the field axioms to prove the first property. Theorem. As a consequence of the field axioms, a times 0 equals a for all a. We will first observe that the identity property of addition implies that 0 plus 0 equals 0. Next, we will multiply both sides of the equation by a. We then apply the distributive property, and then we use the inverse property of addition to add negative a times 0 to both sides of the equation. From here, by using a combination of the commutative law of addition and the inverse property of addition, we get a times 0 equals 0. There's another set of axioms that are known as the order axioms. These are important because one of the primary features of the rational numbers and the real numbers is that there is a definite order to them. You may not be familiar with these by name, but you probably recognize them from applications. Comparability and trichotomy are properties that allow you to compare any two numbers in exactly one way. Transitivity states that if you have a small number, a big number, and an even bigger number, then the small number is still smaller than the bigger number. Order preservation is just a matter of the inequalities not changing when you add a number or when you multiply by a positive number. Just as with the field axioms, there are properties we can derive from the order axioms that you have probably used throughout your mathematical lives, such as when you multiply by a negative, you must flip the inequality. We will prove a special case of that statement. Theorem. If a is less than or equal to b, then negative b is less than or equal to negative a. Suppose a is less than or equal to b. Since order is preserved under addition, we could add c to both sides of the equation, where c is negative a plus negative b, and negative a and negative b are the additive inverses of a and b respectively. First, we'll substitute in these values. Then, by using the commutative law of addition and the associative law of addition, we can rewrite this in a way that shows that we will get cancellation. Then, by using the inverse properties and the identity property, we get the desired result.